I'm writing an article on kasushi, that's the Japanese word for breaking his posture, making him off balance. That's how you start the throw. I have to break him down before I come in, otherwise I'll probably get countered and thrown. So, really the max efficiency of judo comes from the fact that we break the posture. That makes us different and better, I think, than the other arts like grappling. Uh, now, there are some common known ways of off-balancing. If, if I push into him and he takes a step backwards, I'll add to his down. Just enough so his body, if I put too much, his body will compensate. Just enough, it throws him a little bit off balance. And then when he recovers, I'll take advantage of his body restraining up himself out, and then I'll be able to push in the opposite direction. If he's moving around and his feet go wider, we'll just go sideways here. Our feet go wider, I kind of go down. When his feet come up, I kind of pull up. Uh, so we get downs and ups, and we're going to have uh, downs and ups like this. Uh, and then there's always things that you can do with your wrists. If I make my arms go a little bit wider and I twist my hips, uh, then I'm going to be able to, to get other types of ways of breaking his balance. Now some of these ways are pretty easy to do when you have a nice loose partner and we're, we're, teach, we're making judo into a, a kata, an art. But when you got into a contest, and you're talking about Olympic style judo, then you really have to have a different idea on how this works. So when the Japanese came up with a better way for competition, and they called it new school, here's some of the things that they said. First, you need to get your legs into a position where you're already ready to load him up. Now when I load him up, that's surete. So my legs are surete. Actually, they're going to be what I call a step ahead. I'm already halfway there. So he's the step behind, I'm the step ahead. The other thing is, if I lower my hips, and I'm just going to go like this, if I lower my hips, then we get a little teeter-totter type of thing. So my hips go down, his hips go up. My hips go down, his hips go up. If I take this foot and I shift my weight, that's going to throw him off balance. And right on me, so right in the surete. So it's kasushi surete, that's what they say. And that's the studies that they made when they decided to do the biomechanics of judo. Now, also you want action reaction. So a lot of times I'll go like this, that gives me a chance to set my legs correct. So I go like this, I get my legs set correct, then I shift weight, then I start throwing him and loading him up for the throw. Now I'm going to give you a little bit more. So I shift weight, now I've got all my weight on this leg. Now that allows me to turn my hip and then put the weight on this leg. So we go weight, weight. When I do that, I'm going to also twist my hip. So my hip is giving power to make him go up and gives me the power to twist him. So I kind of twist him by making my arms go wide. But my hips coming inside, my arms are getting wide, this foot is heavy. And what I'm going to do here is just kind of rock him up a little bit, and then I'm going to, you, you'll notice that this leg will start coming in. So I'm going to shift weight, step, shift weight. 
when I say step, I'm basically just putting this down heavy. So here, boom, boom. And you see how I'm lifting weight? Um, this hand is, is lifting up. And it's my hip that's making that hand lift up. And you see, it's right by my ear. Like that. And that's my hip. Now, as I do this, I want to get more and more from Kasushi into Surate, loading up. So, I'll Kasushi, and then I'll spin around. Now, <laughs> now he's, you can see I'm starting to run into him. So now he's formed, my body is formed into his body. That's Surate. And the last thing we need is the execution. But it's going to be strong. Now I'm going to have him, he's going to be holding his, uh, his hands really tight. So when I go like this, I'm kind of setting up his arms to get straight so I can break through. So I go like this, I get my, my legs where I want them, I kind of go like this, shrug that arm through, and turn this wrist. So it's going to break him backwards. Now I can break him forward. I've got him loaded, pretty much loaded up. I'm being able to bring my leg back like this. Now I'm in a position where I can just push and drive into him. 